Hey folks, Coach Grandpa. 10 upgrades I did five years ago. <clears throat> Let's go over them. See how they're holding up. First one, are those screens. The net screens. Kind of keeps the honest people from just grabbing stuff out of your back. But I just put there to keep the wind down so if my hat flies off, it won't go out the cheap. They're holding up pretty good. Second thing I got, I got these tires. They're the Goodyear knobby mud tires. Very expensive tires. But I didn't want a lift kit. I just wanted good tires. I like those rims. I like the way it sits, the stance, so I didn't want to mess with that. So just spent some extra money on those tires. I recommend them. They look really good. The third one, and the one I'm really impressed with, are these mirrors by Quadratech. When your door's on, they swing out with the door to stay looking like they're stock. So they mount to your pillar frame instead of to the door. So when you take your doors off over here, I love them both sides. I was worried, but they're holding up five years and still looking great. All right, number four is going to be these handles. Don't get the ones that attach to here. Those, you're going to hit your head, the nylon ones, whatever, or even the metal ones. You're going to hit your head on it. Right here is where you need it. Strong to the, to the frame. Really good. All right, and then get some killer mats. I got the WeatherTech after one year, but I really beat the shit out of them. It cracked. And they're guaranteed I could have took it in, but my time's valuable. So I just make sure I don't spill anything in there. So... That one's covered. All right. Then number six, I went ahead and got this chrome intake for the vent. I really like that thing. It improves your air conditioning, your heater, the flow it increases it. So I would recommend that. I've never seen it on any other Jeep. So make sure you get one. And then this is a 2018. They have the old style rubber ones. I put the GL. These are really really like these you have to get those all right then to protect your radiator you got to get one of these screens that you install it and slide it in because otherwise a rock will go up there and hit your radiator it could damage it so that kind of protects it i really really like that another thing i got to protect that engine bay is this poison spider louver vamp whatever it's not fake, it's real. They had to do special shit to get it to operational. They had to drill and do all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, they, they did all kinds of drilling, cutting, and mounting. And I guess I could have done that. I don't know. And then the last and final one is I got these gas rods. So that I don't have to rely on this puppy anymore. This always got in the way. Always got in the way. So now I don't have to mess with that. I got two gas rods and I installed those myself. Rather proud of myself. So those are 10 mods I've gotten and they're holding up rather well. I'm really impressed with those 10 mods. I'm probably done modulating this puppy. <laughs> I'm just going to keep her running. Alright folks, thanks for watching.